the abandoned koi pond so over the last couple of months i've kind of abandoned or neglected my koi pond you could say now the one thing i did do um even though i abandoned my pond was to do water changes and parameter checks on a weekly or fortnightly basis so what that does it keeps my water parameters down it keeps fresh water going in you know and it keeps the fish happy so I didn't have time to clean the filters, I didn't have time to clean around the pond, I didn't have time to paint the pond, I didn't have time to do a lot of things around the pond that I would like and want to do because life, work, family and everything else comes into play here. Now I built this pond, you know, not not, not cheap to build but like so it's low maintenance and cheap to kind of maintain as we go along. So basically I use the box filter systems which I have some videos on if you want to see them but my first box is for 45,000 liters and the second one is going to probably do another 20 30,000 liters quite easily i have 80 to 100 liters of alpha grog in there with some foam just to catch everything and and to help with the bacteria conversion to you know with ammonia and everything else so just gives place you know gives places for the water to go um i also use this sieve filter which basically is coming straight from the pump on a y system so this it's just been on a slight trickle all winter and look you know it's caught quite a lot of crap hasn't it really considering it's just a trickle but you can see the fish are acting normal my water's a little bit murky but we do have a plan now with uh, the filtration system on this pond i picked this filter system up uh probably i don't know four or five months ago now so it's just sat it's just sat there for three four five months now and um as you can see it's got everything i need in there Obviously, I'm going to put some alpha grog in there and stuff, just some fresh stuff. And I'm going to add this to my pond, which I will do a video on shortly. So, what I'd like to know from you guys is, what would you do? As you can see, the pond's just looking a little bit run, run down, isn't it? What would you do with this pond? So, on the back wall and the side wall, I'm going to put some fencing panels. Now, what this is going to do is just make it look a little bit better than it actually is currently. I'm going to paint the pond. I'm going to try to tidy it up. I'm going to try to... Uh, put all my koi stuff in my koi house thing that I've got with my grow on tank so I will be doing a video on that shortly as well um, but yeah I've been away a while guys but we're back it's springtime it's time to sort the pond out so let me know in the comments below what you guys have been doing with your pond how are your fish you know are you just getting into it let me know your pond dimensions the size etc etc and I'll see you in the next one